Afternoon. Welcome to Rest and Wreck. I'm Church. I'm currently here sunbathing on the poor man's private beach next to the river here in good old North Carolina. If you're balling on a budget like I am, sunbathing while trespassing on what happens to resemble a beach is about as close to free luxury as you can possibly get. But if you have some money to throw around, let me tell you about a beach and a beach activity that will blow your mind and possibly your budget. I am, of course, referring to scuba diving off the beach of Catalina Island. Santa Catalina is a tiny island about 30 miles off the coast of Long Beach, California. The whole island encompasses an area about 75 square miles and only has one incorporated city called Avalon. The whole island is so small that the only means of travel for non-residents on the island is by bus and by golf cart. While we were in California on our road trip out west, Courtney and I decided to travel to Catalina Island. There were only two ways to get to the island, by boat or by helicopter. Since I'm not Elon Musk, we opted for the former, which wasn't cheap by any means. Unless you know a guy with a boat, the Catalina Express is the only means of getting to and from the island by sea. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Thanks. So the Catalina Express has a few different routes to get to Catalina. We use the Long Beach Port because it offers the most ferries going to and from Avalon, and you get a great view of the Queen Mary Floating Hotel on your way out of the harbor. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Whenever we first left port, I was pretty concerned about the clarity of the water. Water's not looking too great, is it? Nope. <laughs> oh, boy. But as soon as we were clear of the harbor, the water clarity improved dramatically. And there it was, Casino Point, marked by the Catalina Casino, and right below that, the Kelp Forest Dive Site by the same name that draws in divers from around the world. After the boat, it was just a short 200-yard walk to Avalon and the beach. Now, even if you don't want to dive, Catalina Island is nice. Avalon is beautiful. It has that tropical paradise feel to it, and it's a lot less congested than LA beaches. I really wish we could have spent more time there. Now I could go on and on about how great the island was and how beautiful everything was, but this is a dive site review, not a travel review. So from the dive shop, we loaded up a golf cart and drove it through the town of Avalon over to Catalina Casino. As I said earlier, Casino Point's a really popular dive site, so all the tanks and weights are already there. So all I had to do was get out and rig my equipment. After we got our tanks on, we walked about 50 feet to the entrance. Now diving a coral reef is awesome, don't get me wrong. But diving a kelp forest? Totally different experience. Comparing this dive to something you would experience on land, <laughs> if you can compare it to anything on land, I guess I would liken it to walking through a forest. I would say that because any other dive feels like you're flying because you hover over the bottom, but this doesn't feel like flying. This is moving past kelp, moving below kelp, moving in between kelp. A little bit about this dive site. Casino Point is a dedicated underwater park with buoys marking the boundaries to keep boats and fishermen away. First established back in 1962, Casino Point was the first non-profit underwater park in the U.S., and disputably the world. As for Santa Catalina Island itself, the island has history dating back thousands of years. So much history that I can't do it justice in this video. I will say this because I find it interesting. Back in the 20s, they found the remains of an ancient civilization of giants that once inhabited this island. If you're interested in learning more about that, Megalithomania UK has an entire video dedicated to it. Even though I was really enjoying this dive, I couldn't help but wonder what Courtney was doing on the surface.
The waves make getting out a little more difficult than getting in, but once you reach the stairs, it's easy going. All right, Casino Point dive site characteristics. Let's talk about them. Entry. Casino Point is a shore entry dive with stairs leading down to the water. Current. The waves are strong, but not to the point of being dangerous. Temperature. Water temperatures range from 70 to 74 degrees in the summer months to 55 to 60 degrees in the winter months. I dove Casino Point on November 10th and it was 61 degrees. Maximum depth. The max depth in this park is 95 feet, but the deepest wreck is at 75 feet. Recommended time to visit. Due to the popularity of this dive site, if you have a thick wetsuit or a dry suit, I recommend coming during the winter months. There are less people, the water visibility is better with the currents, and kelp grows faster in colder water. Visibility. The visibility was stunning. Easily 60 feet of vis, even at depth. Unique features. Casino Point has four sailboat wrecks full of fish and kelp. There are also several unique rock formations that give the whole site a unique color and composition. A non-interactive feature of Casino Point is the memorial plaque dedicated to the late father of scuba diving, Jacques Cousteau. Now the features were great, but this dive site is all about the ecology. This goes without say, but the main attraction is the giant kelp. Kelp is everywhere, and it's great. There's so much kelp that if you aren't careful, you'll get wrapped up in the stuff. Some kelp stipes reached from the bottom at 90 feet down all the way to the surface. I can easily see how this is one of the fastest growing organisms on Earth. I know the camera doesn't show this, but the way the light hits the kelp, it almost looks like the kelp is sparkling. <laughs> okay, enough about the kelp. Let's talk about the other stuff. Fish. There are lots of them. The most prominent fish are the Garibaldi. Also known as Catalina goldfish, these fish are easily identified by their bright yellow bodies and fluorescent blue fin tips. Also a fun fact for you, the Garibaldi is the California state fish. As far as numbers, second to the Garibaldi were the kelp bass. They have the mouth of a bass, the body of a grouper, and the color scheme of a Dalmatian. And there were thousands of other fish as well including the kelp greenling we startled. Found a few rock-dwelling sea urchins. We also found a spiny lobster in the rocks. One creature I found particularly entertaining was the green abalone. My dive guide fed it a kelp leaf by sliding it in between its shell and the rock. It had a pretty strong grip on it once it started eating. Between the kelp, the fish, and the unique features, there was never a dull moment. Overall, this is one of my favorite dives. Okay, so how do I rate this dive, Casino Point? I'm gonna give it three stars. What? Only three stars? Church, you were hyping it up so much. You said it was unique, you said it was great visibility. There is no pleasing you. Yes, I did. But here's the thing, though. Price. A ticket on the Catalina Express cost $40 each way. Since I bought round trip tickets for Courtney and myself, that came out to be $160. And that was just getting there. Once there, I had to book a dive guide through the only dive shop on the island, Catalina Divers Supply, for the hefty price of $95. And that was with no rental gear. If I had not driven my equipment across the US, I would have had to have paid $135. But you know me, I don't rent equipment because I know that these rental wetsuits have been peed on more than R. Kelly's girlfriend. Now, usually I don't do this, but uh... Well, the Catalina's expensive. At least the parking's free, right? Nope. Parking, $19. So I'm gonna pay you $100 to f Scuba dive Catalina Island. Once you factor all of that, plus the price of two expensive island meals, this became the most expensive single dive I've ever made. But like I said in the beginning, small island paradise right off the coast of Los Angeles, you know it's going to be expensive. That said, if you have the money and you get the opportunity, I can't recommend this dive enough. If you have questions or you have your own experiences diving Casino Point, please let me know down in the comments section below. This has been Church from Rest and Wreck. Happy diving. Hey, thanks for watching. 
you like content like this, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss a new video. Until next time, church out.